This person wrote to me, and they have this dating story. Jared, looking to see your take on my unique dating situation that is not your average dating story. I was dating this guy for six months. Something always felt off about him, but I couldn't put my finger on it. While we dated, his dad killed himself. He bought a million dollar house. He had cancer. I would pick him up from chemo. Turns out he was drinking antifreeze to convince people he had cancer. There is no house and his dad is alive and well. <laughs> Man. Welcome to the new J Train podcast. If you're not aware of that at 30, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You're not going to learn through this bear metaphor. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, no, I was curious as to what it was. Right. No, I, yeah. I mean, that's what they're doing. They're like, the idea that it is some women would choose the bear over a man. Right, right, right. Is to te it is to teach the unteachable. Sure. It's a waste of fucking time. Yeah. And it's just you high-fiving on the internet. Right, right, right. That was my... <laughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty like, good. Right. And yeah. So, sounds bye. good to me. That's why I was like doing the pod, man. I was uh We always get into the nitty gritty. Well, I get my news. This is where <laughs> I really I really feel like I exist outside this the world. Is CNN. <laughs> and I come here and I, go. I kinda get an update of what people have been talking what, about what's for the, the past couple of days. <laughs> what's the chit chat these days? <laughs> A little bit, yeah. I do feel very secluded. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna bring you in. Ready? Oh, we're recording? I figured. Welcome to the J Train Podcast. Choo -choo. Um, we got Anthony DeVito, my co-host. Thank you for coming back. Always a pleasure. Yeah, man. I'm fucking happy, dude. We were just talking about <laughs> how I get Anthony the news. I guess we'll start with that. Sorry. We'll keep that in. Um, anything? Any other questions about the world? Well, yeah. No, um, I'm trying to think of trendy, trending stuff. Well, I, I don't want the trendy stuff. I want what's trending for Anthony. Well, I just listen what to are you interested in right now? I actually, I want to hear from someone who's outside of the conversation. That's more interesting I am very upset to me. The like, I, like, I would like, because you know what huh. it is? Like, sometimes I get bogged down. I'm like, oh, the world is mad at everything. Palestine, Israel. And then I'm like jealous because like you're <laughs> not thinking of these things. So like, what worries you? What keeps you up at night? Mainly, I've been watching basketball. Um, a lot of basketball. Yeah, a lot. I've been watching basketball too. Yeah, so I really haven't had too many like um, you know you go through a dry spell in terms of your own brain. Yeah, where you're like, well, I haven't had a thought that's uh, interesting. Interesting in a right. month. Um, it's been a while. It's been it's been a while. <laughs> so as you go so long where you go, is it over? I Am wonder, I never right, going right, to have right, one again? But, let's sit in silence on that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. A J Train sponsored silence brought to you by MeUndies. Um, no, I, I, I think that's relevant. Yeah. I think like, you know, especially we get into comedy. When you start comedy, you're like, I know what I'm going to talk about. I got all these ideas that are so funny. Wait till, to, the, wait till the world hears the this. The world is going to hear Then you go to open mics and you realize a lot of these ideas were pretty not funny. Yeah. And then you start to, f you know, get an act together. And uh -huh. you go, oh, I got an act. This is pretty funny. I, I can be funny. And then you do it a while and you're like, does anyone care about this act? <laughs> And then a lot of people laugh, but then they go, okay, I laughed, and now I'm leaving the show. And you go, okay, well, why don't you tell your friends about the show? And they go, well, why would I do that? I laughed, and I'm leaving. Yeah. And you go, okay. And then you start going, well, I guess I should come up with more of an act for the next time I go and do the show. And then you're like, I, I, I'm out of shit. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. well, you know, you go, um, I'm well, tapped. I'm tapped. I, yeah. I, I did the funny thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Now reward me. And, you know, you want the rewards and sometimes they come in, in all their ways. But then you go. Yeah. All right. No, 100 percent. Is this too existential? Or do we start to. No, no. Broad? I, no do you I understand think what I'm saying? I, I do. I, because I go, what could I talk I about do. now? What on <laughs> earth could I talk about like I now? I understand too much. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, because I keep thinking, I'm like, what could I talk about now yeah. that could ever be. Better than the thing I've already talked about. I've, I've I've said it. I said all the things I was I that had to be said. Yes. At forty one, what's left? 
I got them all out. I made all the observations right. I could make. I did all the I'm stuff. I'm just rehashing observations. I'm just I'm rehashing and fine-tuning stuff I thought about in high school that I now know how to say in a way that's palatable to the world. Right. But there's and, not a lot of new thoughts. Well, it's actually like depressing. Go to my Instagram. I just or go to my TikTok, please. Uh, v, because on TikTok, I just posted this video. Mm. It is a rehash of something I've thought for a long time, okay? <laughs> and to me, I was like, oh, this will be a fun TikTok yeah. of something I've, the idea of going on dates with someone, following them on social media, and then just like watching their life continue. Right. So the idea, <laughs> like, yeah. I think that's weird that we just like continue totally. to watch someone's life. So if you go to the last tick t after the ick, that one. So that's the one I want to profile because I was, I've said this joke in different ways before, but like, I guess I'm like trying to perfect it at a yeah. certain point. You're trying to get it to the point where everyone gets it. So I was like, basically, because I saw this girl's. You get oh. better at explaining yourself. Right. Yeah. I saw a woman's Instagram and it was like, the new baby's here. So-and-so was born. What a great day. And I'm looking at the baby. I'm going, oh, what a cute baby. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I hooked up with her for like three months over a decade ago. Like, right. what am I doing <laughs> here? Why How am, am I, I in the, the family? <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Why am I at the baby shower? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know Why I mean? don't I have opinions on Kyle? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm oh. like, oh, there's the husband. I recognize the husband. <laughs> right. like, like, I know. Oh, oh Jack got a haircut. Yeah, looks, nice. looks yeah he looks good. He looks a little less tired. He's doing well with the second kid. <laughs> you know, like, I, I do have questions about their yeah. lives, but none that I want answered or need answered. But, like, I am still watching her life. Yeah. And her watching mine. But, like, we also put our life out there to be watched. So yeah. I can understand why. But so this idea of, like, I can understand why she would follow me if she's entertained by things I do and... You know, oh, we used to date, which is kind of cool. Like, I knew him when he was doing open mics or whatever. Right. And now I like, you know, I like to watch his stuff every now and again and check in with him. Fine. Yeah. For me, it's a little weirder because it's like, I don't know. I'm like, why am I here still? But then I also don't want to be rude and unfollow. Oh, sure. Be because I don't want this person going, why? What do you think? You're better than me? Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't want. I Again, these are all my own insecurities, ego, yeah. all that stuff. When I think they're going to notice the unfollow, too, because... For you, your the amount of people you're following as a comedian, mm. it's just so many. It's you know so many. a person who featured for you once, thirteen years ago. Right. When do I get out of that person? <laughs> I, when do I, when can I get rid of that person? Yeah, I, I love how this is starting. <laughs> just a therapy session for you. I never get to play this role. Well, this is yeah, interesting. This is right. Uh, I've never been. I've never been showered as uh, someone who might have wisdom. This is an uh, teach me, me your ways yeah. of being outside of the social framework <laughs> of society. I didn't, I didn't even get into my one creative thought. Yeah, just I want to know what we'll you're thinking. We'll get there, but I, I don't want to. I want to know what you're thinking wanna about. I want to stay here yeah. for a moment. Okay. Um, <laughs> if I could. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the listeners will appreciate me yeah. taking over as host please, of the podcast. Please, please. Um, Lisa does it. <laughs> Yo, Lisa, Lisa and I have very different personalities right, to a command bit. a room. Right. <laughs> That's why I like a little taste of each you. <laughs> so for her, she's probably got, I don't know, 200 people she follows. You know right. what I mean? So like, for, she sees you every day within reason. But for you, it's like there are thousands of people. For her to pop up is strange. And then if you unfollow her, she'll notice. If, she, right. if she's out of your life, you're never going to notice. Well, that's the thing is... <laughs> or you're going to be like, something happened. there was an accident that happened to the family. Right. And I'll begin to check the papers. <laughs> I got in a car accident. My, hit, my hand fit, hit unfollow. Um, <laughs> well, also, like, I can't like the pictures. Of course. So I made this post, yeah. which is, again, this is, uh, I'm talking about a specific person, but I've thought this for years. Yeah. How do I make this joke? You know, and I came back to it today. So play, let's play this. Kind of want to check with the internet to see what you guys think of this message I'm about to send. So let me know in the comments. Hey, uh, I hope you don't take this personally, but I'm going to unfollow your account. I think you're great. And I'm really happy to have met you. But I just think it's weird to know the second baby's name of a woman <laughs> that I hooked up with for three months over a decade ago. It was a great three months. I know we didn't have a label, and I kind of ghosted, fizzled, whatever you want to call it. But a lot of time has passed, and I just kind of have to move on. And while the babies seem awesome and your husband 
just seems like a great guy. We kind of look alike. <laughs> I don't think Sometimes that happens. Have it's, uh, it's a little bit watching. of an ego boost. I'm not going to like It that makes me understand more than ego, I think. And what do you mean? She was looking for a fine like, version. She just, this is this her is, type. This yeah. is what it was going to be. Yeah. I had nothing. It wasn't my charm. Right. It wasn't right. my sexual ability. Right. It was just a better a look. sack of meat. Yeah. I wanted a better version of this. Right. I would get it with, uh, they would be a little bit taller than me. Okay. And I would go, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's fine. See, now that video depresses me because if you go to the comments on that video, it is like people legitimately going, no, that's too much, man. What do you mean, too much? Like, more that I, because I said, I'm asking the internet, should I send this message oh, to this person? Oh, oh, oh I see. I'm not going to send this message to this person. <laughs> right. Like, this is crazy. This is a... Just, just make sure you... Or, you know, I don't know, man. I would do it in person. <laughs> Invite her and her husband for coffee. That's that, fun. They, they get that. That's that, 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 hilarious. That's a good one. That's a good comment. That's great. That comment doesn't... That makes me believe in society. Yeah. Here's the... She's clearly moved on. So should you, silently. <laughs> And so I responded, I don't know if she's moved on. I think we're, we're one kid away. <laughs> like fun. that depressed. How do you not get it? Yeah. How do you? And I'm like, my life's work is making people get it. Well, I think the comment section is almost exclusively people who don't get it. That's their, right. that's well, that's, their area. It start, you know, did the comment section, did we start at these are the raving lunatics in our society? Or has we just become that? Like, do you think people have... The comment section, do you think normal, regular jo Jims and Joes who get the joke get it so much now that they're like, I'm not going to comment? I would imagine. I don't know anyone who comments. I've never met a commenter in the wild. Right. You know, I I, I, I know. I think it's in secret because I commented on a Jimmy Fallon really? post the other day. Really? We discussed it. Oh yeah. My a God. Michael Phelps post. <laughs> oh, my I, God. I, 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 said I'm, I was hammered on a plane. I, yeah, I talked that's about, understandable. <laughs> I was hammered. I've, I've done that. Michael Phelps. This guy keeps talking about mental health. Enough already. <laughs> we get it. You're you're rich You've and sad too. Turned into a Jewish mother. I, your, enough, Michael um, Phelps. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah, Michael Phelps. Um, Don't you think that every Michael Phelps interview is about him being depressed? He's been on the depression kick for quite a while. Now. Thank you. This this makes it's me feel better. I, I was wondering this. It's been so long that it's like, okay, dude, a new bit. <laughs> like. <laughs> like, it, like, who's paying you? I don't why, why, who at Johnson and Johnson has you on the payroll? What's what's the what's the name I, of a, like a I'll like say, a, a depression medication? He's definitely being paid by one of them. I'll say the tone. I'm, I don't the tone of the the tone of all the commercials. The Michael Phelps because it, it must be with better help, right? It, that's what it was. For I don't years. know what it was that it's just every interview, and he had a good. We talked about this already on the show, yeah, yeah, but I, sure. we went through the interview on Fallon. He does say some things that are very interesting, as far as like I couldn't go to the Olympics because I wanted to get in the pool, yeah. and now I'm over it. And it's like okay, that is like right. I get that. That is the way you should be telling me about your mental health. Not, I call Charles Barkley every now and again just to check in. <laughs> it's like, are you bragging while also depressed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I just text Chuck. He said Chuck. Like yeah, a that... fucking asshole with a fucking man bun. So wait, so what did you comment? So I commented, I, I, I mean, I it. it got crushed because I'm Mr. <laughs> Anti-Mental Health. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. oh. That's great. Do we have it? It was basically like... I basically wrote like I'm a little done with Michael's Phelps, okay. you know, while you know, you know, telling us how sad he is, telling us people who have to sit in Delta Comfort. <laughs> like it's very plain specific right, 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 because right. I'm on a plane. But I don't know. <laughs> what are you thinking about right now? Let me let me hear what you're thinking about. Oh, what's this, on? An this is a new segment. A what's on Anthony's sort mind? Sort of interesting, funny thought I've had in a month uh, was because uh, you know, well, maybe I've had, I have a couple now that I'm actually loading this guy up. Mm. Uh, so they'll always like mic up the basketball players during the games. They'll put like a lav mic on them. So yeah, I'm into the basketball too. Yeah. I've been loving it. I'm a Celtics fan, but I liked watching the Knicks. Yeah, Anthony Edwards fun. is like a fun. dream of a watch to me. Yeah. I love him. And we're on the precipice of like, there's a lot of like Michael Jordan type of talk with mm -hmm. him. Uh, so if you're not a basketball fan, like this might be a name you're going to hear more of. Yeah, if he goes farther in this playoffs, I but think he's so talented and charismatic that he will he will walk outside the world of basketball inside the world of like like I think 
Before my mom dies, she'll know who Anthony Edwards is. That's what I think, too. Which, and I know that's a crazy... When she dying? No. <laughs> There's no plans in place or right. anything. I realized as I said that. But. Well, they had this discussion on First Take this morning. They're like, yeah. they're like talking about Jason Tatum. And I'm like, why is no... Jason Tatum is, is the star of the Celtics. But, like, why are they... Why? Are, what, what, what made me upset was, like, I'm like, Anthony Edwards has a personality. Yeah. Like Jason Tatum, he's does, a drip. Does not, yeah, he's a little, yeah. seemingly yes. from what we've seen based on past performance, we have one guy who is a fun, energetic, totally funny, thoughtful guy, and another guy who doesn't say much. So they're all like, "Well, who will who will be the face of the NBA?" It's like not Jason Tatum. He hasn't said a fucking no. word. I think when people and Tatum is one of these guys, when they get too many tattoos, mm. they don't have a personality. Because they tattoos, go, that's my personality. I, I'm going to put it all in the tats. Yeah, exactly. His tattoos are wild. It looks like a bug is crawling, a, a group of bugs is crawling up his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, they're terrible. And they're, so, all right, what do you think about it? They're miking up the players. Oh, yeah, they're miking up the players. And it's always, like, so generic when they, you know, the, what they get back. They're always, you know, it's always just like, let's go. Like, we need to win this. And mm. I, I noticed, like, they never mic up Kyrie. I just think it'd be so funny <laughs> that they mic him up. And he's just, he's not even talking about basketball. He's just on the bench. He's like, here's what really happened in World War One. Right. Like, that's all it is. <laughs> and, uh, just, just continuous <laughs> Jewish conspiracy yeah, theories. Yeah, it's never, ever about the it's game. It's funny you bring up Kyrie. Today, on, uh, I'm watching First Take again. Like, I, I yeah. turn on ESPN. And there's one woman who goes, I've never thought of him as anything else but a basketball player first. And I'm like, you are not Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, wow. like, that is like, that like, is a privilege. That take, <laughs> that take is wild to me. You never, you know, when the guy was refusing the vaccine, awesome. when he was. He had a year <laughs> run. It was wild. Right. He had a a year. Kanye West like run. Right. Did he he, have. It was like, and for her to go, uh, and Mike Greenberg is sitting there going, well, I think people thought of him for not basketball for a second. And she's going, only saw him as a basketball player first. I don't know who. And it's like, that is not like, I, I'm not offended by the take. I'm more yeah. just like, do you think like, like you're just ignoring that this guy was a total monster for like a year. And, and it was a short span. Like he packed so much in. It really that. happened quick. It it's, was it was like a match getting. Yeah, lit. it started yeah. with like, hey, Kyrie Irving might not believe the Earth is round, right? And then he was like, I also don't think Jews are real, right? And then he and then he just went, and I also think <laughs> science isn't either, right? And here's a movie recommendation: Train me if you want, right? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> well, it was Peace. also too at the time he played in Brooklyn, which was oh, it was just such an incredible idea. To me. Right, and have Jews like courtside, like they'd <laughs> yeah. have like people in yarmulkes yeah, yeah. watching Kyrie. It was all bizarre. <laughs> yeah. We literally live in like a world that like was dreamt up. Like yeah. I, I, I don't think ten years ago, if you were like, we're gonna have Kyrie playing in Brooklyn, telling us Jews don't exist, yeah, um, with people in yarmulkes booing him, you'd be like, yeah. this is a Mad Lib. Well, I think because before it's like. It's and these things would happen, but there was no, you know, there was no social media to just get it out to the world. Mm. I remember years ago, it was a baseball player, I think on the White Sox, Carl Everett. This was years ago. Oh, Carl Everett doesn't believe in dinosaurs. Doesn't believe in dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it didn't really make the rounds because of social media. But like, now, man, that's everywhere. You'd have to be in the know. Like, first of all, yeah. you have to know who Carl Everett is. Sure. You have to be up with baseball. You have to see an interview after a game. Like, it was like, like, it was. It wasn't just getting on the for you page, <laughs> right. you know, like it wasn't like right. it does seem like it's like too accessible. Like, yeah. I think our crazies need to like they do need to exist. I mean, like, I know so Terrence much. Howard. I didn't know that this guy was like, that's a good thing for me to ask. What's going on with that? He went on Rogan and I think it's becoming more widely available to know that Terrence Howard has a lot of very strange opinions, um, really? like on like you know light and lines and matter like he's always Fun. talking it's always like I... vaguely about matter and lights and lines i don't know i i it didn't seem like someone i wanted to have a dinner with i love when someone punches so high above their pay grade <laughs> when they go i think maybe i get theoretical physics right you know, i think like, i get it i watched three body problem and i think i got this Let's That's do, fun. Well, we have an even crazier email. I okay. want to get into this email Please. because I think this person wrote to me and they have this dating story. Jared, looking to see your take on my unique dating situation. 
that is not your average dating story. Long story short, I was dating this guy for six months. Something always felt off about him, but I couldn't put my finger on it. While we dated, his dad killed himself. He bought a million dollar house. He had cancer. I would pick him up from chemo. Turns out he was drinking antifreeze to convince people he had cancer. There is no house and his dad is alive and well. <laughs> Man. I found out because one night he drank too much antifreeze and was in, <laughs> intu Sorry. intubated uh, and know. sedated. Doctors told me there is no record of him ever going to chemo. So why was I picking him up from the cancer hospital? Also found out he has two kids by two different women. There is no house, but he texts me from fake numbers pretending to be the realtor. The list goes on and on. How do I date and trust anyone after this? Sincerely, one flew over the cuckoo's neck. <laughs> I mean... I mean, it sounds like my man Ripley. Right. <laughs> You've been watching Ripley on Netflix. I've been watching Ripley on Netflix. Ripley. I've been out for a couple months, but I just got around to You're it. You're in. I'm all in, man. This he's sounds like guy this man, a, my man Ripley. He's he's the music man. He's just a <laughs> grifter that goes town to town <laughs> yeah. and kills people on Ripley. Yeah. This guy. Uh, Can I? How does she trust anyone again, Anthony? I, I, think I, I have to say, that, uh, there's a point. <laughs> <laughs> this story, like what she a said wild to me, move you just did. What I loved it. How did you trust anyone again, Anthony? I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't care. I just thought it was hilarious. But I I'm didn't have I anything have... raring to go. But what a what an incredible <laughs> hosting maneuver you just made. Before you get into this, I'm just that's I'm, insane. I'm, what do you think, Anthony? I'm sorry. You're right. I really don't. I'd rather. I I know you have a passionate well, opinion I'm, right away. I want to know if you are annoyed by this emailer at all because I'm annoyed by them. And I'm the and emailer. they came to me. They they DM this to me. So I get these DMs all the time. Like, sure. hey, here's my dating story right. that you've never heard before. And Fair. it's so crazy that I go. And then they go, and then they bring it from crazy land, he's drinking antifreeze, <laughs> to how can I trust anyone again? It's like, yeah, you got one of the fucking wild strays. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't, and, and at a certain point, when you're picking up, when you're dating someone six months and you go, something always felt off about him, okay, when do you start trusting your intuition? Sure. When you're six months in, when is it too early to be picking up someone from their chemo appointments? <laughs> Aren't you questioning that? Yeah. Well, I and this is gonna this is gonna be weird. Her grammar is so crazy in this email okay. that makes the me grammar. This is what you're caught up on. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I, I well, I've, I guess I've been watching a lot of television. I didn't have it at chess school. I watched Baby Reindeer too. Haven't watched it. Really great. It's great. Yeah, I think it was great. Okay, yeah. uh, but the, the I saw the woman who's the reindeer, or what is she? <laughs> <laughs> She's mad that they made a show about her. Is she the baby or the reindeer? reindeer? She's the stalker. It's a She's the stalker. Yeah. She's the stalker. Yeah. She, she plays. She's already come out and said that it's not true. And yeah, I've yeah. heard that. Yeah, yeah she's a, seems like but a total liar. Her, yeah. but to her emails, the 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 language in her emails are very similar to this email. In so terms baby of like, reindeer. and I'm not saying that the woman from Baby Reindeer is this woman. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that her use of commas and lack thereof understanding of periods, right. something is off with her as well. Well, this was a DM, so maybe that accounts. I'm gonna, let me give her a little bit of a DM you write in a way that maybe is different than an email, but I, I'm with you. The, the, Here's my thing. The spaces between the commas and the words are crazy. Now, I've been watching a lot of Ripley. Mm. So you're always looking for what's not really there. Right. So I think this, she's actually the nutty one. He's doing everything in his power to get away from her by going like, I have cancer. <laughs> You know, you have to pick me up from cancer. Right. And then, right. then, he, then he... Who would ever date this person? Yeah, and yeah. then he goes, well, I don't know. I, I don't know how. The cancer didn't work. I'll drink antifreeze. Right. You know, he's yeah. doing all these things. I'm not things. giving off enough cancer. I got to drink <laughs> antifreeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the crazy still part. in my life. Right. He couldn't just act and go, I feel sick today. He's got to drink antifreeze. Can I say this too? Please. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Why? It, am I crazy or is, have, uh, has, have people been faking cancer a lot in the last like 10 to 15 years? I know this happens a lot in the world of the real housewives. Right. Or maybe it just happened with one woman and my wife talks about it a bunch. But... <laughs> 
That's I think been the, happening. I think there's right? a rise. There's in, a rise in cancer fakes. Cancer fakes. I think like taking something that's very serious and uh-huh. attributing it to you uh-huh. to try and get somewhere. I think is on the rise. People are using cancer as a way of climbing the corporate ladder. A little bit. Okay. I think because I, well, I think they're using like serious names for things mm. that we could misconstrue. Like I'm dealing with like. Michael Phelps, okay? Not My to bring God. it back to Michael My Phelps. My God, man. You're going to get back in the pool with Michael I'm Phelps? I'm going to be swimming. This okay? poor guy's We're got 400 freestyle. gold medals. He's got so much depression, he can't stop talking what? about it. Right. And you're going after him. Well, I guess my thing is... Who are you, Bill Maher? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> you're getting paid. To, there's a there's a there's a, what is the what is the um what do you get from this? Do you know what I mean? Are you we talking get, about Phelps still? Phelps. Okay. Him, the cancer <laughs> fake. Like, what is the 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 pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? When you talk about mental health, when you yeah. use the word mental health, the buzzword like that, you are now getting the attention of it. I would say it's absolutely a buzzword really? right okay. now. Wouldn't you say? I don't know. I would just assume it's a condition. I think people say it because it gets people's attention. All right. And it earns you a right at the table of <laughs> I have issues too. Okay. Like you all know, right, like right. this guy, he's gonna fake a cancer. Yeah. I just don't understand what the what he gets out of this. Yeah, like, that's the, the shame of this, is we don't get to see what his end game was. Right. His end right. I would we love We don't to really see his get to game. see the grift. Is it to get women? Like, but why go to the hospital to get picked up? Where where does it get him? That's got to be a financial scam. Here's, but He's, she's asking for advice. So let me, let's give her advice. Yeah, my, I mean, my advice is to Grammarly. It's an app. <laughs> Help her. Yeah, it's called Munchausen <laughs> s- Syndrome. It, it, Munchausen Syndrome is a, also known as factuous disorder. Facetious, factitious is a rare psychological condition where a person fakes illness or deliberately causes symptoms of illness in themselves. The person's main intention is to assume the sick role so that people care for them and they are the center of attention. So that makes sense for this guy to be like, I'm sick with cancer. My dad has passed away. Yeah. The million dollar house, I guess that's, that's like makes him fuckable to her. I guess. At the same time, because he's a rich guy. Like yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's like a that's sick what every woman fuck. wants. A sick guy whose dad just killed himself. Alone. He's, but he's man. got a million dollars, so it's all fine. Oh, and he smells like uh he smells like the inside of my car, but right. oh that's not that no bother to me. <laughs> what? I think this guy well t- to her. Here's my advice to her. You need to start meeting friends earlier, okay? The idea that you're six months in with a guy and picking him up from chemo, which I understand that you don't want to ask too much. You don't want to like, if someone said they had cancer, that's all they need to say. I'm not going to like not believe them. Yeah, I'm it taking it. If you say you have cancer, I'm taking it at face value. I'm going to take it. I'm going to believe that most people don't. So she's like, how do I trust again? The way you trust is I'd love to meet your friends and family, yeah. okay? And, and not two months in, one month. I think like we had Esther Perel on you up and she was great. She's like this famous relationship. That name sounds so familiar. She's huge. She's Do we date? You might have fucked once. Mm. Um Sounds she's... sounds like me. <laughs> uh. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. I'll put this come anywhere, DeVito. <laughs> she's a Belgian American psychotherapist. She yeah. she talks I've about her relationships. Name. Her big thing is like cheating. She talks yeah. a lot about cheating a lot. So uh-huh. But we were talking on the podcast, and she and I and I've always called it the aunt theory. Like mm. you know, if you have someone in common, like an aunt, you tend to act a little bit more normally because you have to deal with the aunt asking you questions. Sure. She was talking about meeting friends quickly, and I I've never been with a woman where she's like, what, what do you do? Like, let, let me meet your friends, and I would be like, whoa, whoa, too early. That should be the fun of it. Sick, I wants, love them. I'd right. be so excited. I, it also yeah. takes pressure off of me. I don't have to do all the talking. I, don't I can ship you off to them, and you can be impressed by my friends. You can enjoy <laughs> them. You're, you're wow. You've got a whole life. If I'm trying to like impress a woman, yeah, I have a mansion. Not really that big a impress. Like I, I don't even think that's impressive. <laughs> I have a full life with friends that you want to be a part of. Like that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So when you're sitting here, when you're telling me this, it, what annoys me about this email 
is she's telling this at brunch across America. She's going from brunch to brunch <laughs> and all these women are going, wow, the men are crazy, this is wild. And she's probably getting a, she's a little Munchausen because she's yeah. getting the attention from this story. We need a new name for these stories because this story is so extreme. Anyone can be lied to is the point. Yeah. You can say anything to me. You could be Ripley. You yeah. could Ripley me. Oh, and yeah, we man. can't get ahead of liars. What you can do is take care of yourself and go, if I'm not meeting the friends, I'm not meeting the person. Yeah. Because the friend would go, you go, oh, I drove him to chemo. And the friend would go, you have fucking cancer? <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> right no, of away. Course, of course. Cool. I didn't know you could drink antifreeze. I thought. I, I, it feels very Tide Pods-ish Yeah, to yeah, me. exactly. It's like the old version of Tide Pods. No, but I understand what you're saying. Uh Meet well, the she friends. Said, never trust anyone again. Out. Here's how you trust people again. You learn from the mistakes. The mistake is not meeting friends. You've been with someone six months and you haven't met one friend. Okay, you don't know this person. Totally. Also, too, you're never going to meet someone else. Like I've never. I've only heard this story from the magnificent television show Ripley. Mm. <laughs> so I, I've never heard it in real life. Is <laughs> Anthony came here sponsored by Netflix. <laughs> Ripley on every Tuesday night. You gotta eight. watch this thing. Adults I mean. may drink antifreeze <laughs> as a substitute for alcohol or as a way to commit suicide. The use of antifreeze is common among people with drinking problems or alcohol use disorders, mainly due to its sweet taste. Oh, sweet taste. <laughs> I will say. I wish this didn't make the, me want to drink yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, Due to its <laughs> delicious taste oh, and, and depressing effects on the body. <laughs> yeah, Phelps gets hold of this. Man. He's going to be all over it. Um, Mainly due to that sweet sensation that it puts in your body and its delicious aftertaste. Don't do it. I'll say it's a great look for the next guy she dates. Oh, I, I mean, that guy's the, the bar king. is so low. It is it's so low. Uh, unbelievable. What? You... you, you. You only drink, uh, you know, mouthwash? Yeah. Oh, you're just a scam artist? <laughs> oh, you, that's all you are. That's fine. That's totally fine. You might think it's overkill to buy underwear that are anti-odor, moisture-wicking, and super breathable, but it's absolutely essential. When summer really hits, you're going to be happy you got me undies, and you're no longer swimming in a pool of sweat. Their signature stuff is made from micro-modal fabric that's ridiculously comfortable, and you can even check out their ball caddy trunks that have an internal pouch for lift and support. Listen, I love MeUndies. I love them. I'm wearing them right now. They keep you cool. And this time of year, you need an underwear that's like thin and cool and comfy. That's what you want. You don't want it riding up. That's where MeUndies is, is like the key to the whole thing. Here's the other thing about MeUndies. You have a pair of underwear that you're dealing with that you don't really like wearing. Do yourself a favor, throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Give yourself the gift of a new pair of underwear that you're not avoiding. And we're going to give you some free money. Summer is coming. Be prepared with MeUndies. Get 20% off your first order and free shipping at MeUndies.com slash feather. That's MeUndies.com slash feather for 20% off plus free shipping MeUndies. Comfort from the outside in. This summer, start being a cooler version of yourself. Whether you want to eat and drink more awesome, dress and travel more awesome, or explore more awesome, the box of awesome is jam-packed with carefully chosen gear from the best small brands around the world to help you level up. I love the box of awesome. You know why I love it? It introduces you to products that you are not confident enough to buy for yourself. You lack confidence. I lack confidence. That's the truth. You see something online, you go, oh, I don't deserve it. Oh, not now. Oh, I'll get it later. Not with Box of Awesome. You're signing up for them to send you new stuff that you would have never got yourself. Look at I'm looking at the website now. They got the Oceanside, Easy Carry, Beach Day Accessories, High Tide, Beach Day Upgrades, Just in Time for the Summer. They got sunglasses. Concentrate. Focus on your morning routine. They got Deploy, the tactical EDC that gets the job done. <clears throat> just so many cool things that you just honestly let them like curate a little piece of your life. That's the greatest part. And 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from small and up and coming brands. 
again, you're going to find a new brand that you wouldn't have found, and maybe they become a part of your life in a bigger way. Explore new brands, discover new interests, and be the coolest guy on the block. It's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel any time, so there's really nothing to lose. Get a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment when you sign up at boxofawesome.com slash JTrain. Enter code JTrain at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com slash JTrain. Code JTrain for a mystery gift with your first monthly shipment. Boxofawesome.com slash JTrain code JTrain. Let's do a luxury lounge. Send in your luxury lounge to JTrainPodcast at Juma.com. Dearest Jared and beloved guest, can we make some rules about what channels are allowed to be playing on the gym TVs? I go to a gym that has all the cardio machines facing the wall of TVs, so when I'm on the treadmill, I have pretty much no choice but to watch. They should be playing almost exclusively sports and maybe the news or family feud. But no, I am forced to watch someone baking cookies on the Food Channel or dramatically eating a burger on diners, drive-ins, and dives or performing open-heart surgery on God knows what channel. What the fuck? And those are all in the same time making me simultaneously hungry and about to gag. The last thing I need when I'm trying to get a little exercise is Guy Fieri scarfing down something greasy and smothered in cheese, making me crave a post-workout cheat meal. Maybe I need to switch gyms, but I fear this is common practice. Thank you for your commiseration. I can't wait to see what you see you again in Boston. Sincerely, a betch with a stomach ache. What do you think, Anthony DeVito? Um, I, I, the Open Heart Surgery channel. Uh, TLC, they, listen. Oh, you're botched. right. You're right. TLC's kind of made that weird pivot. Botched, yeah, pimple yeah. popper. Right. I mean, you could see a baby's head come out of someone's head <laughs> yeah, yeah. while trying to run. Yeah, TLC, really, they never got off the ground with what they were going to be as a channel, whenever the inception of it. You know right. what I mean? Well, they're the Ripley's Believe It or Not of channels. <laughs> yeah, they if are. you think about it, they're they like, are. we are going to bring you to oddities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, like, it's weird because it's like season 10 of like little people, big love or something. <laughs> yeah, they, and you're like, it started in a place of disgusting, right, right. and now it's like a regular Leave It to Beaver TV show that yeah. like we forgot. Like with all this, like looking back and being like, time will be mean to you. No one looks back at like TLC and is like, you put this family on TV because you were, you yeah. thought they were weird. Totally. And now they're on TV. No one can say, like, they just say, I like this show about this family where right. they happen to be little people. <laughs> right, right, but, right. like, it started from a place of, like, how do we get people to <laughs> stop flicking the channel and stay on our, oh, we'll have people eating the couch. <laughs> yeah. And we'll have someone with a, you know, with a huge lump on their head that they've <laughs> had for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, TLC. It is, um, um, man, what? Oh, sorry, I had something... As you were saying that, I was thinking the whole time. I was enjoying it. <laughs> well, but no, but I mean, like Pimple I Popper. Like you, I like Pimple Popper, but like, and yeah. I watch it. But like, it kind of shows you the need for people to have health care. Like, <laughs> sure, yeah. It, like, if you, you there's some of those shows you go because uh, it's outpatient surgery. That's what's crazy about that show. <laughs> like, it's not like they, most of the people are just like a ten minute thing, right? And they'll come in. I remember there was this one woman. You can look this up, V. It's um, she had balls on her ears mm -hmm. that she got from trying to pierce her own ears. Sure. So I guess if you like the cartilage on your ear, if you try to pierce it yourself, it could become so affected that it like blows up. Whoa. So she had these balls hanging from her ears. Yeah. And the woman was like, oh my God. And she's like, they've been hanging there. Since, like, it, it, it's their Christmas episode. Pimple Popper Christmas episode. She does, like, and Pimple Popper's so funny. She does, like, she, she like, nicknames everything. That's her, like, <laughs> and she was, like, <laughs> and so, like, yeah, I, that it's not that woman, but it's like that. Where, mm. like, someone tried, there she is on the right. No. <laughs> if we go back, wow. right down, that person. They're like hanging from their ears. Whoa. Wow. Right. Because oh, yeah. they tried to pierce their ears yeah, themselves. Yeah, for sure. So then 
testicle shaped growth on earlobe is finally removed by so you have a <laughs> testicle shaped earlobe it's so okay funny, like I don't, did you need to say testicle shape because right. this guy's like hurting enough too that you're like i don't know man he's walking around with balls on his head well that's the thing the christmas episode she goes it's my what is it 32 days what is, what is the number two da, 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 i've never da, da, da. oh 12 days of christmas 12 days of christmas 32 12, you think they're 32 days i don't know listen i uh, Kyrie told me <laughs> it was her 12 days man, of pops. You get down to day 28, man. That is, whoo, boy. A lot, lot of swans. <laughs> so, so they, she goes, she kept giving nicknames to all the things. So she goes, oh, look, you got two jingle bells on your ears. And it's like, uh, and I agree. Like, okay, you don't have to like call them jingle bells. I have a serious issue. This person was like, I've had them since I've been like 16. I tried right, to pierce my ears. And now they're like 30. Yeah. And Pimple Popper like goes snip, snip. And it's like, you're done. And the person's like crying. And you're like, they did like 12 years of having balls hanging from their ears. And you're like, this is 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And it was probably like a thousand bucks. And you're like, this deserves a GoFundMe. Right, (laughs) right, right, right. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind the watching a little bit of open heart surgery <laughs> at the on gym? the treadmill. Yeah. I don't what do you think... watch at the gym? Um, now, well, I just watch Body by Amy. So I do a very specific routine. Body by Amy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a prenatal this workout. Sounds... <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. So I started doing it over the pandemic because I learned I had this like weird heart thing. So I can't lift anymore. So I have to only do cardio. Okay. And I just, she was so comforting, she was so encouraging. So How I, do you start doing a prenatal workout? I typed into YouTube. I said, easy cardio. And then she came up. Body and, by Amy. Body by Amy. Okay, let's look up Body by Amy. <laughs> yeah. and So she's like the Miss Rachel for Very pregnancy. much so. Yeah, yeah. Miss yeah. Rachel, who I just found out about. Wild. So here's Body by Amy. Amy's yeah. hot. Oh, yeah. Amy's hot. This is one of the newer videos. So she's got... I so this watch is with weights. You're not allowed to do this. No, no. I do a 20 minute. It's like the easiest cardio. So 20 minute body fit by Amy. Yes. And so she'll do like yeah, one of these 20 minute like in your apartment. You can get it done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would do it uh, in my kitchen. But then we joined a gym that's two you doors down. You see from Amy us. pregnant and think this isn't for me. Well, I just don't do that one. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> Amy's pregnant in these videos <laughs> for sure. This, these, but this is the Amy setup that I normally watch, and and okay. I like to imagine that she'd been kidnapped by people, and they're forcing her to do these exercises. If you're listening, videos. she <laughs> is in a room that looks very much like Saw, like the Saw movies, like. Can you get out of here using the 20-pound dumbbells? Yeah. Right. And if she stops making the videos, she'll never see her family again. That's what I imagine. Hey, everybody, today we're going to do abs. Johnny, I love you. Maybe these flutter kicks are going to be the reason I can get you yeah, home. Yeah. She tries to send little code message, coded messages to them within the workout, you know? Um, but, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I do Amy. Uh, she will tell me to... She does say she does. She, she has said uh, if you need to pump, pump. So I, you're in the middle of the workout. Yeah, yeah, she'll say that. If anyone pump time. Yeah, she will. And you just drink I pump. from a. Nope, I no, pump my pump. breast yeah. until milk spurts out. <laughs> I um, don't mind diners, drive-ins, and dives at the. I love diners. I, I agree dives. with this person. Like there should be like a set TV. Like they should basically. It should be above the TV. It sure. should say sports news food yeah so you can set yourself up it shouldn't just be randomized it yeah, should be yeah, like yeah. this is the food section this is the news section. Right. this is the you know i i, I do that. think that would help her plight um but because i when i'm at the gym i just want action i just want to be able to look at things like, I, yeah i like the music videos you know really i like yeah well you, i like the music videos because like you know, know it's like two what, and a half minutes what rap looks like in the philippines you know what i mean? like they're always those music videos with a hundred things on the screen yeah the time is there the the helicopter crash in iran right you know all of these things are happening in the you same about place that story i read the news i listened to my news podcast on the way in oh well i <laughs> <laughs> it had Ripley's and the Iranian crash. 
I will say at the gym, like I set up at the gym in front of the window mm. in like I'm on Greenwich Avenue. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in front of the window and I just find myself like falling in love every 10 minutes. Yeah, like that's every fun. woman that walks by, I'm just like, maybe I could start a life with her. Yeah. Maybe I could start a life with her. And I just like imagine and and I just imagine them looking up at me going, is that guy staring at us <laughs> while doing like burpees? <laughs> Running in place in my direction. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, let's do another luxury. But lounge. that's more fun. No, I never mind. Uh, I always like Guy Fieri. I just, Huge he makes Guy me Fieri happy, fan. man. I mean, do you, you know what you can do? Is it? No, it's Margaritaville. There's a Times Square Margaritaville where you can do a bar tour at the Margaritaville. Uh huh. And it just feels like a Guy Fieri type of time. That's yeah, why I'm yeah. talking about it. But it's like, I just like that. Wouldn't it be nice? Your, your reputation is just happiness for people. Like, totally. People come in contact with you. Like every time I see a picture of someone like seeing him at an event, they're like, oh my God. Yeah. Look who I'm with. Like he's someone who's so innocently happy to mm. me. I don't he could have the worst political views <laughs> in the world and I'd still be like that guy. That is a guy who He's adorable. There is no reason for him to ever say to people his opinion on any current event. <laughs> yeah. That is a guy who he should never utter a word sure. other than awesome sauce. Yeah, I think that's the fear is that you go I don't want him to, I want him to remain just so he is, you know, or, you know, it, it's so uplifting. Well, it's What's that? He's so uplifting. I, I know. Well, that's the thing. Like, you know, you think about it, you go, I don't think there's an opinion. I agree with you. Like if I found out Guy Fieri was just like really into crypto. Yeah. I would be like, didn't see that coming, Looks but okay. like whatever. <laughs> and then if he was like, you got to do it, man. Do, you know, if you're, if you do don't do crypto, you're an idiot. I'd be like, oh, I, I guess I would still, I'd be okay with him. Crypto's maybe not as serious enough. <laughs> if he was like, Kyrie's right. <laughs> I'd take it from him. I, I, I think I'd take it from him, yeah. Do you wake up in a big pool of your own sweat? Time to update those sheets with Brooklinen. Keep cool with fresh linen designed in Brooklyn, made in Portugal. Brooklinen's washed linen sheets are made with 100% European flax and washed to perfection. I love Brooklinen. You know how I know it's good? Because my mom asked about it. It's mom approved. They started as a company that was just on podcasts. And you're like, oh, I guess there's like one of these podcast companies. Well, now they're in the mainstream. My mom has Brooklinen sheets. I have Brooklinen sheets. Mom approved. They look good on the bed. They're comfy, cozy. The more you wash them, the better they get. Whether you're starting out in a new home or adding some flair to your current setup, Brooklinen's customizable bed and bath bundles make it easy and affordable to upgrade. So get the lightweight essentials necessary to upgrade your space for the summer from Brooklinen. Visit in-store or online at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Use code JTRAIN20 for $20 off or an order of $100 or more. Woo! Free money. That's B R O O K L I N E N dot com. Promo code JTRAIN20 for $20 off. Everybody is a beach body. But if you're trying to drop a couple of pounds, it can be stressful to feel like you're not making progress. Row Body provides access to the most popular weight loss shots on the market to help you out on your journey. Paired with healthy lifestyle changes, one shot a week can help you lose. 15 to 20% of your weight in a year on average and actually keep it off. Join the over 200,000 people who have already chosen Roe to help them lose weight. You'll have tons of support throughout the process. Roe's partner even handles all the insurance paperwork for you to help your medication get your medication covered. Sign up from your laptop. No having to schedule an appointment or commute to the doctor's office. It couldn't be this couldn't be easier. Average weight loss is 15 to 20% in one year with healthy lifestyle changes. BMI and other eligibility criteria apply. Go to ro.co slash JTrain. Sign up today and you'll pay just $99 for your first month and $145 a month after that. Medication costs are separate. That's ro.co slash JTrain. Okay, it's in. We'll wait till it's a pill. Let's do another lounge anyway. lounge. Jared and lounge members, love, love, feather, feather. Thank you for all you do. On to my complaint. I'm writing for my car <laughs> after Sorry. one of many awkward encounters I've had recently. 
I'm a woman in my early 30s, and exercising is important to me for both my physical and mental health. Mm. Another Michael, there's, Michael there's Phelps that, here. There's that buzzword again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I run five to six days a week and do yoga almost every day. My routine has kept me happy, sane, and feeling good about myself. I obviously enjoy the physical benefits of my workout routine, and I'm proud of the way my body looks. However, I hate it when strangers comment on my body. This happens fairly frequently when I'm just trying to get groceries or browse at a bookstore. I get comments ranging from, you have amazing arms. Obviously, you work out all the time. And what exercises do you do to get legs like those? <laughs> that's the Whoa, most that's... annoying one. <laughs> You're like, what exercises do you it's like? Wild. Do you want me? Do you want the day for me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, how long do I have to sit here and talk to you? I have to give you, do you want me to write a routine for you? <laughs> <laughs> that's so, wild sometimes i'll just get hand gestures like thumbs up a thumbs up is wild too or an okay you think, sign. i don't know i like a thumbs up a, a, a if someone looks at, out there giving thumbs ups <laughs> in the world that's fun that's fun to me i can't imagine you're just walking along and a stranger just looks at you and goes <laughs> oh, looking pretty good she says or an okay gesture like this is weird too. Okay is weird. Okay is old man checking out yeah, your body. Yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. that's an okay <laughs> rumpus you got going on there. That is weird. Uh, someone gestures to my arms or around my general body. All this shit makes me so uncomfortable. I don't I don't disagree. No, I, I don't blame you. Totally uncomfortable. Especially too. since these comments usually come from men. Of course, I'm not out trying to flaunt my body. I'm just trying to get groceries and my very normal and unbecoming shorts and tank tops well let me stop this person there <laughs> you i agree with them when you say it's my unbecoming shorts and tank tops there are men masturbating to everything so you don't know <laughs> yeah. there might be a guy who's like tank top guy you know you totally. don't know and i'm not trying to make this grosser but it is yeah yeah for sure i know i should try to take these compliments and give people the benefit of the doubt that they aren't all skeezy. No, 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 I'm not asking. I don't think you should give them the benefit of the doubt at all. They're, this is a creepy thing to do. And trying to weirdly hit on me. Yes, they're trying to hit on you, but I don't think they deserve benefit. Uh, but I just feel super awkward and never have any clue what to say in these situations. Any advice on how to react when people won't stop commenting on your physique? Thanks again for all you do. Too fit to handle. I, I agree with this complaint. It's annoying. It's creepy. It yeah. is shameful yeah. and they're not feeling any shame like to go up to anyone and go nice body <laughs> god you cut a good figure with the okay sign <laughs> three sets of ten or what are we talking <laughs> i think it's so uh funny yeah i think how do you react you just go uh i have cancer my dad just died and i bought a million dollar home <laughs> How could you say that from to a cancer patient? How, could yeah. you? How dare you? I've lost this weight due to the chemo. <laughs> That's your this immediate home is for me to get over my dad. <laughs> Who Dad's died? Dead. Everyone's dying of cancer. We've said cancer way many, way too many times for a comedy podcast. What do you think? I don't know what she says. What? I don't know what you say. I, I I think you're like. It sounds like you take care care of yourself. I'm sure you look great. I, I can't apologize for these people. I think they're wrong. I, I hope that I don't do, I can't understand going up to anyone I don't know, even anyone I do know and going, loving those arms today. Like, I don't know what you do. Yeah, I think you, you, you bring up, you know, you really dive into them. You psychoanalyze them. I think you go, have you not had a mother? <laughs> do you, have you, ne have you right. never seen a daughter? Right. I think you what really, does your wife have to say about my body? I think you really dig into them that way. Right. You, yeah, really, go you really shame them. Go you really go shame them negative. hard. Yep. It's so much exhaustion, though. Like, that is like, that's your yeah, whole life. Yeah, of course. Life. It's horrible. No. This is, have you ever commented on someone's body? Uh, Admit it. Of course. Bring her in. <laughs> bring her. Yeah. Bring, bring in the team. The team of women that uh, you've, you've shamefully talked to. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like when you don't know how to talk to a woman when you're younger and you don't realize what you're saying and how it lands on a person. Right. You know, all those young man mistakes. Yes. I don't think I've commented on a woman's body. My wife, but that's fair game. I don't, I don't even know anymore. 
<laughs> what do you say? You look pretty today. Oh, that's. I mean, that's that, what I mean. To me, yeah. I actually think for this person, they probably appreciate you look pretty today more than what they're getting. What well, they're yeah. getting is so specific. What they're getting is like this, like uh, this body scan. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing for your legs? <laughs> Yeah, like, that's what it is. That's yeah. crazy. And no, it's like, totally. I, and and they're trying what they're doing based on what she's saying. What exercises do you do to get legs like that? You have amazing arms. Obviously, you work out all the time. They're looking to have a longer conversation. It's not, hey, you look great today. Good to see you. Got to go. This is people trying to extend their time well, yeah. at the window of her because they're attracted to her with no end game in sight. Like it's not, you know, it, and it. This is the problem is these men that are coming up to her aren't coming up to be like, and I'd like to take you for a drink this week to show how much I really think you're beautiful and sure. want to get to know you. They're not doing that. They're going, what are you doing for those legs <laughs> with no plan? There's no totally. like, yeah, like, yeah. There's, like, that's the annoying part is like you have now let this, you basically dropped off the responsibility at my doorstep for me to get us out of this conversation and yeah. getting on my way. Yeah. That's the annoying part. Yeah. Well, they're all boner, you know, at that point. All boner. They're all, they're, they're just. All boner, no the, brain. The best they could come up with is, uh, what exercises are you doing? <laughs> you know, there's, <laughs> it, it, there, there's no, they can't even hide what their intentions are. Right. Beyond like, I'm not trying to get to know you. I'm not like, hey, I think you're attractive. Wouldn't a date with you be fun? I wonder, you're right. attractive. I wonder who's behind what I'm looking at it instead is, of just being like, those thighs are making me a cuckoo clock. <laughs> it is funny to think about what is the perfect percentage of boner to brain for a man? Because if you're all brain, you don't even want to leave the house. If you're all boner, sure. you're coming in with, I like your legs, please fuck me. <laughs> yeah, I think five to 10% is what you want. Well, I think, is it 50 50? No, 50 70 30? That's a way too high. 70% brain, 30% boner? I still think that's too high. 80, 20. I'll give you 20 max. 80% brain, 20% yes. boner. Yeah. And men listening to this are understanding. The women might not be understanding. V, do you, does this make sense to you at all? Not really. Not really. The point being I mean, we're not that I'm yeah. saying when a that's guy fair. goes up to a woman, you have to be both a combination of boner and brain. And I mean this. Oh, like to be even. To okay. be even. Okay. Because okay. brain. if you're too much brain, you go, I don't want to leave the house tonight. I'm exhausted. Sure. I'm tired. If you're too much boner, you're just like, what are you doing at the gym for your legs? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and I think okay. it's, you have to find that happy medium of like, I want to pursue a woman while also to get to know them and pursue yeah. them. You know, it's like romantic. The, the 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 classier way to say it is like romantic versus cynicism. Sure. Because, and maybe that's the way it works for women, where it's like, I got to be in a little bit of a romantic mood to approach a guy at a bar. But I got to be a little cynical because I got to protect myself because this guy is a stranger who might murder me. I think the romantic versus cynical of a woman is the same for the boner versus brain of a man. Okay, yeah, I see that. Does this make sense? Totally. So it's like, if you're in a bar, like you have to have a little boner in you well, yeah. to go to a bar alone and sure. try to like pick up a woman because you gotta have a little bit of like, I gotta have the energy. Right. Like I know people, we know people, there's comedians that are like, the night is only a success if they have gone home with a woman. <laughs> yeah. And I never That's understand crazy. that. I'm like, how do you have the energy? Right. They're all boner. Yeah, yeah, they're all boner. I always see that as such a disease, you know? Horrible. Well, I, you know, it's, I, when I see them do that, that's how I am with nighttime eating. <laughs> like, okay. when I see someone, like, like they're yeah, like, the yeah. night is a disappointment. If totally. I, like, I if I saying. get to the end of the night and I'm, like, hungry, I'm, like, depressed that I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh, my God, the meals are over. Yeah. And so I go eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are that way with women. Yeah, no, that's 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 tough. You're always under, I feel like you're just under so much pressure then. You know what I mean? If right, the well, night's the, not a success unless uh, a person agrees to have sex with you. It's, a, a, well, it's what your value system is. Yeah, like, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, good luck to this woman. Let's go on to the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the Patreon. We're oh, here. cool, man. Anthony, we loved having you. Ever go follow Anthony DeVito. Uh, go oh. get on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Jared Freed. We got $5 a month. You get the end of every episode. We're going to do a mailbag in the Patreon. So 
we are heading there now. 